Good morning, guys. So, I don't know why I got these keys on my neck. Back with the fourth gen. I got it running pretty good yesterday um, after putting the new fuel filter in. Um, this is what came out of the old fuel filter. Um, if you mix it all up, it's, yeah, it's pretty gross. So, it's got a new fuel filter. Um, I cleaned out the rail, cleaned out the injectors, put new gaskets and O-rings on the injectors and the new little filter caps. Um, sorry, my neighbor's doing woodwork. And, um, well, it had the P14 ECU still in it from the guy that did the swap. If you don't know what the P14 ECU is, it's from the H23A1 non-VTEC motor. So, obviously, you can't have VTEC on that ECU. However, he had the P13 ECU that came with his swap in his car. I put the P13 ECU in the car after I got running great, and it ran like dog ass. Just straight trash. Um, so, anyway, yesterday I, I realized that it still had the H23A1 injectors in it. Um, it didn't have H22 injectors. So, luckily I had some spare H22A4 injectors, but they were OBD2, so I had to swap over the plug style and delete the um, resistor box. Uh, and thanks to Justin Miller for helping me with that one, because I was uh, <laughs> I was a little spent on that one. Wasn't really sure what was the issue, and all I had to do was delete the resistor box after splicing in the new injectors. Um, and I got it running pretty dang good. Idling good, it sounds really good and deep, but today we are going to be hooking up VTEC, and I'm going to show y'all how to do that. Alright guys, so I'm here in the interior, it's torn apart. Here is the ECU that was in it. You can see here that it says P14A10. That is a H23A1 non-VTEC ECU. We have swapped in the um, p 13 no one You might be able to see it right here. Um, P13 N01, which is a JDM H22 for my fortune JDM car. Um, and car runs right, idles beautifully, revs great. You got the nice little exhaust burbles. Uh, yesterday, like I said, when I swapped ECUs, it wanted to run like complete dog ass, no matter what. Um, mind you, the car was already warm up because this does have a cold starting issue where it runs like shit until it warms up. That I still got to figure out. Um, but so the car was warm after I, I swapped the ECUs. That's all it does. You know, it takes like five minutes to swap out the ECUs, if that. And uh, yeah, so it was running like shit, and so I um, ended up putting in. Um, actual H22 injectors, OD2 injectors, but like I said, the, it don't matter. The, the ECU is not reading the injectors. The only difference is the OBD2 are saturated injectors versus the OBD1 are peak and hold. So you have that resistor box. So I had to delete the resistor box and pinch all the wires together. I soldered them all together, twisted them, and then I even heat shrink them. I'll show you what I did. Uh, so after I soldered them all together, it's literally just all heat shrink and then it's folded over and then another heat shrink tube um, and then I'm just going to tuck that down there and out of the way um, but it's idling sounds great guys it has an NVIDIA exhaust on it sounds like a nice healthy motor so I'm not sure what this previous guy did um, this is kind of what I have figured out here uh yeah, so he had this plugged up, but it was just stuck under like this. Like he just snipped the wire and plugged it in and stuffed it under there to make it look like it was plugged in. Okay, so after searching through a little bit of forums, looking up a few stuff, I'm going to have to pin in the VTEC solenoid and the VTEC pressure switch, just like I thought. Um, I was just making sure that the harness didn't have a connection on it, that the guy accidentally cut off or whatever so we're just gonna wire it straight into the ECU I have the pin out here this is like a really super quick drawing that I did to help people understand I know earlier I said ABC it's ABD <clears throat> and so here's the pin it's gonna go one two three four five six you know like that so A4 is gonna be your VTEC solenoid A26 VTEC pressure switch ground and then D6 VTEC pressure switch and it's normally blue or green 
we got right here, we got the blue wire, and then we have the black ground. Either way, it's going to go in there, that one's going to go there, and then this one, green and yellow, going to go right into A4. So we're going to get extensions for these. They'll probably be different colors by then. I'm going to try to keep this one black at least so I know. I'll probably swap this one over to, um, I don't know, a different color. I'll try to keep that one green. I'll see what I have in my box over here of wires, but I'd like to try to keep it simple as possible. Okay, guys, so I have an older torn up one here. Um, in order to depin it, I have this handy dandy pinning tool from Honda. There's the part number. Kind of just stick in there and pry up. So I have a, um, there's two different sizes. You got these bigger ones here, which obviously the green one is going to be for VTEC, the black one's going to be for the ground. And then you got the smaller one here, which is for the power. Obviously, I'm going to need longer wires than that, but this is just to pin it into where I need to pin them into. Um, so, we'll come around here. And like I said, here it's saying A26 could be red or black for the ground, so we're going to make that black. Uh, VTEC is going to be green. Those are the two bigger ones. And then this one is a smaller one. We're going to make it red. Um, we're going to go ahead and pin them into here and then just extend some wire in here and then put them in place once they're in here. So in order for us to do this, let's start with the A4. It's going to be this connector right here. Um, this should just fold down. Let me get my little pick tool. You put a pick there and on that side. And then this folds down to where you can actually access this and slide in a new connector. All right, see, once you fold that down, I had to get my little flathead screwdriver, my little pocket one. We're going to stick this wire into here. Should just slide in and clip in, honestly, just like that. Make sure that that is seated all the way. There we go. And that connector's in. Now we're going to come down and we're going to go to A26, which is going to be this very, very last one. Way the heck over here, which already actually has something in it. So, um, don't even have to pin that. So we're going to close that. Back up. Just like that. And we're just going to splice into this because I'm not sure what it's going to right now. And I don't want to make a complete cut. So I'm going to pull back some wire. I'm going to wrap wire around it with a little electrical tape for now. See what happens. And then, um, but now we're going to go over to the D connector right here. And we're going to D6. Which is going to be one, two, three. It's going to be this third one. So it's that third one right there on top, right beside this orange and white wire. Nothing's in it. Um, let me just say on the that's how you look at the connectors. One, two, three, six. That third bottom one would technically be this top one because of how it plugs in. You know what I mean? Okay, there we go. We got the D6 connector in there. Um, good to go. Slid right in. Like I said, that's the smaller pin. Uh, and if you don't know what I mean by smaller pin, you can see how obviously these ones on the ends are, are bigger. So you'll get one of the ones from the middle. Um, and like I said, I have a few old ones that I use just for this. So it worked out perfect. Now, uh, like I said, we're just going to splice into this one. I'm going to cut these back. I'm going to extend the wires. And, uh... We're going to run them through into the engine bay and uh, hook them up and see if we got VTEC. Alright guys, so I'm gonna, I went ahead and took out this um, fuse box. It's 10 millimeter that sits like right here. And then you can unclip the back side from this bracket. And this bracket sits just like this. So once you unclip it, that's held in by two 10 millimeter nuts. It'll just go right here. Take that out. Um, Looking at where I'm going to run the wires, I might end up running them right here in this little plug here, depending on what's behind it. 
I'm gonna pop that plug out and see. If not, I'll run it through here with the rest of the wires. All right, guys, so um, I can see the green wire through here. It leads right on the just this side of the blower motor, so it works. Um, can kind of see the green wire in there. I might fish up in there and hook it out for whatever reason like a dumbass. I, I already heat shrink the, the wire. Only on the VTEC one on that side. I'll run the other ones down in there myself because it'll be easier to do that way than trying to run them up. Uh, All right, guys, so... We were able to successfully run it through that little hole. I used a hanger. Um, I will clean up these wires and make them better. But for right now, I'm just going to go out and test it. Make sure that we're actually getting VTEC now. <clears throat> um, I was able to keep, as you can see, a blue line and a blue line, black and green. To make everything easy on the outside. Um, even for the inside case, that was. So I'm going to get back in here and plug up this ECU. As you can see, here is, like I said, the A4, which is your VTEC solenoid. Here you have your um, VTEC pressure switch. I just spliced it in here because I'm not sure if that's going to something else right now. I doubt it, but just to be sure. And then uh, we got your uh, D6, your VTEC pressure positive, which is supposed to be green, but it goes green after that connector there. Um, so let's pray that this works. So this thing runs pretty rough when it's cold. There's a rattle underneath. I'm gonna have to lift it up in the air when it's running one one day and see what's causing it. Um, but I'm just letting it warm up to where I can actually drive it. And cross your fingers, we're gonna have VTEC. Alright guys, we have VTEC officially. That's how you plug it in. Uh, Got one more look at that. And if you made it that far, you plug it all up, wire it all in, run it through there. And it's good, guys. All right, guys. Y'all please like, share, and subscribe. There's going to be some more content. There's going to be a lot more work coming up on this Prelude. I got a bunch to do to it still. Um, but we got it running. We got VTEC working. Uh, now it's just working on the little minor things to get it running just right for the owner. Wire nails VTEC, you need it. Car's still slow with VTEC, but it's a lot faster than it was without it. So that's always a positive thing. Later, guys.